Hi everyone, and Merry Christmas. We're almost there. Thanks so much for tuning in for these encouraging words together. It's such an honor to be able to come to you each and every day and just spend this moment sharing our hearts together. I know that uh, through the video it feels a little bit one-sided, but if wherever we are together we can stop and focus on the scripture, turn to the Lord, open up our hearts to him, then no matter where we are, God will meet us right there. And we can find in him strength, courage, peace, love, joy. Do you need any of that today? I know I sure do, each and every day. And if I put my trust in the Lord and turn to him, I believe my heart can be encouraged every single time. Of course, we all have days where we feel that more than others, but as we practice his presence, as we purpose uh, in our hearts to come before him each and every day, not just simply out of obligation or habit, but out of deliberate choice to trust him, then regardless of what we feel in the moment, we know the Lord can sustain us day in and day out, and not just cause us to um, endure, but really to overcome and to face whatever's in front of us with real courage. Thanks for joining us today. Yesterday, we reflected on the opening words of the angel Gabriel to Mary. Today, I want to focus on his closing words. As the angel Gabriel finishes his announcement to Mary that she's about to give birth to the Christ child, that the Holy Spirit will overshadow her, and that she will supernaturally conceive and give birth to the Son of God, the one who will save the world from, from our sins. This is what he says. It's Luke chapter 1 and verse 37. The angel finishes his message by declaring, For no word from God will ever fail. That's an amazing promise. No word from God will ever fail. In the original Greek language, that expression says no rhema, no, no word, no thing, no matter, nothing that comes from God will ever be without power, will never be impossible, will always be full of power is the idea. Of course, that's a principle that we see demonstrated throughout the scripture, even from the be very beginning when God said, let there be light, and there was. And of course, we have the creation of the world and all the universe accounted for there in Genesis in those first two chapters. God speaks, and boom, creation takes place. You know, I think it's fascinating to this day that astrophysicists will tell you as they explore and measure the universe. We have, of course, the new JW tele, um, telescopic systems, the Hubble telescope. We have the most accurate measures we've ever had. And they'll tell you that the universe is expanding at exponential rates. And uh, I think personally it's because when God spoke, let there be, and then there was... There's been no counteraction to his word. His word continues to manifest itself. He's even all of creation across the universe responds. God's word is full of power. Nothing that comes from God can ever fail. Because there's no failure in God. He is all powerful. And so this is the message that Gabriel gives to Mary, this incredible proclamation that she will, she will supernaturally give birth, even though she's a virgin, even though she's never um, been with a man, uh, somehow by the power of the Holy Spirit, she'll give birth. This should be an impossibility. What is it make, that makes it possible? The fact that God has spoken it. And whatever God proclaims is full of power. You know, that's not just true for Mary. That's true about everything God says. That's true about his promises to you and I today. And what does that include? Well, the scripture's full of many promises, but the one that comes to mind is the very reason that Jesus came. Perhaps the most famous scripture in all the world from John 3, 16. For God so loved the world, he gave his one and only son that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. That's a promise that's that you and I can count on for sure as we believe in him. And what does that mean? That means we entrust our very lives to him. To believe in God is more than just the mental assent that he must be out there. But it's a decision of faith. 
God's there, and so I will entrust my life to him. I will live according to his ways. The scripture says that if we confess with our mouth and believe in our heart uh, about the Lord Jesus, that we confess him as Lord, believe in our heart that God has raised him from the dead, it says that we too can be saved. Saved from what? Saved out of our sins. Saved from heartache and depression and and all of these things that, that want to control our lives and overwhelm us. That we can find in him eternal hope. Not only hope in this life, but hope that carries us all the way into eternity. We can know the Lord and experience his love forever. Did you know the book of Revelation says that uh, as we come into the presence of the Lord, as we enter into that heavenly kingdom for all eternity, that he'll wipe away every tear? That we'll be in a place where there's no more sorrow or pain or fear, no more mourning, no more crying, no more death that we have the glorious, life-giving presence of Jesus filling us continually for all eternity. This is the promise of God. His promises are full of power. So if we trust him, if we believe, if we confess him as Lord and Savior, then the Christ child who came so long ago, who later suffered on the cross as an adult, and then was raised from the dead as King of kings and Lord of lords, as we entrust our lives to him, we find that we too can die to our old nature and be redeemed and transformed into new creations in Christ, living with him for all eternity. Every word of God is full of the power to bring itself to pass. Nothing is impossible. Nothing is void of power when it comes to God's word which means we can trust him. Mary trusted him. She said to him, may it be unto me even as you have proclaimed. And may we carry the same kind of faith. Lord, let it be unto us even as your word proclaims. We believe. We trust you. Amen. With that thought, let's pray. Lord, as we come in now to the final days before Christmas, I thank you for the promise of your word. Just as you proclaimed to Mary that she would supernaturally give birth and then it took place. I thank you for the promises of your word to all of us that as we trust in you as Lord and Savior, as we believe in you, Lord, and entrust our lives to you, salvation comes to us, rescue from sin and the hope of eternal life that fills us even now, transforming us day in and day out until the day we see you face to face and discover that by then you have transformed us to be just like you. What a marvelous, marvelous promise. Have your work in us even now, we pray. Lord, I pray for all listening today that the sense of confidence would fill every heart, that we would trust in your word, that we would trust that your words are indeed full of power and they bring transformation to all who believe. We believe. Help us with our doubts. Help us with our struggles. Thank you, Lord, that you give out grace to strengthen us in this very moment. We believe the promises of your word. Have your way in us today. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thanks for tuning in for us today for these encouraging words. May the promises of God and the wonder of the coming of Christ that we celebrate here at Christmas, may it fill your heart afresh, draw you close to him, and fill you with great encouragement and confidence. God loves us all. He loves you. And he has a promise of eternal life for each and every single one of us. Here at Friendship Village, we're glad to present these videos. We do so three times a day. They're brand new at 4.30. They're repeated 8 o'clock at night and then once again, 8 o'clock the following morning. We do that every day, Monday through Friday. You can also watch these videos online where we store them on YouTube. Simply type in Encouraging Words with Burt Campbell on your internet browser and it should take you to all of our videos even right now. In fact, if you're watching online, do you know someone that could, that could uh, need, let's try it again. Do you know someone that needs some encouragement today? 
feel free to send them the link to today's video. And if you're watching online, you can subscribe to these videos by clicking on my face. You'll get notifications in your YouTube feed when new ones come out, or you can click on the box below to see more than 400 in our history so far. God bless you. Merry Christmas, everyone. We'll see you next time.